So we now we've opened Partech. What I'm going to show you, and we, you know, we talked about the data set that we're, we're going to analyze, the stem cell data set. This is the easy way to download genomic data from, from uh, GEO. So go to Partech, and under File, you'll see Import. Okay. Now, remember, I told you this is Affymetrix data, and you can actually download the raw data, and I'll show you how to get to that. But here's what we're going to do, is we are going to download by the, do you see the NCBI GEO downloader? Got it? Click on that. Okay. Now what you need to do is figure out a directory where you're going to put it. Okay, so we're going to download this data. It's going to basically go out there and get the data it, it, itself, which is awesome. <laughs> it's going to get the, ex, the text files. So basically, when you submit a array study into GEO, you have to give not only the raw data, but also the process data. What this is going to do is it's going to go out there and get that process data. Okay. What issues might we have different say, versus the image versus the processed? Which one would you rather have, you think? Process. Well, it'd be easier, right? I mean, it'd be easier to download. Here's what I was trying to get you to think, is that they process it themselves, right? We can read what they did, but... <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, about the only person I trust in bioinformatics is me. Maybe there's like two other people. <laughs> I have seen so many crappy studies out there that usually what I do is I get to go get the raw data. I know one of the authors on this paper, and I don't think he's great or anything, but I think he does a pretty good job. I've read of his, some of his other papers. So I'm going to trust that they've processed the data correctly. And what you're going to see is, based on the number that I numbers we're going to see, you'll, you'll understand why I think it's okay. Okay, so just basically pick a, where you want to store this. I'm going to store it in, um, I'm going to make a new folder. Usually what I do is I put the accession number, so GSE27087. Then I'll put an underscore in IO info class processed. import. So I'm going to create that. I'm going to choose that. All right. Now here's what we're going to do is we're going to tell it where which uh, study we want it to get. So you'll see this under GSE number put in 27 Zero eight seven. Okay, I'm going to hit download. All right, what is it it's doing right now is it's getting all those text files. Basically, since this is, this is all the process data, so it's basically getting the numbers for each gene for each individual sample, right? So this isn't a big, you know, table. This is just for each individual sample. And what's going to happen at the very end is, is it's basically going to ask you to merge those files. Okay? And I'll show you how to do that. So this is going to take just a little bit of time. Oh, man, actually, it's going pretty quickly. Um, but in the meantime, here's what, now what, here's what I want you to do is I want you to open up. I'm going to show you the other one. Oh, there we go. Wait a minute. Is everybody's uh, done? Yep. Would you like to merge these? Heck yeah. So say yes. You can put it in the same directory. So this next window is just basically telling you where do you want to put the merged file. Now here's what you're going to want to do. When it says select the format of the final merged file, this is telling you where you want your identifying terms. Do you want them in rows? So for example, in this case, Every gene would be on a row and all your samples would be in columns, okay? 
I'm going to tell you right now, Partech works better when you have your variables in the rows, your samples in the rows, and all your genes in the columns. So what we're going to do is we're going to put identifying terms in columns. Okay, hit next. Uh, file filter, no, nope, we don't want to filter anything. All the files are in the directory, files to merge. Everybody says 30, right? Okay. Hit next. Okay, this next one is basically telling you what are you going to use to connect all these files. So there's an ID ref, so that's the probe set number. That's what we're going to use to connect it. The only thing that's going to be different between these files is the value we give each gene. So here's what I'm doing is I'm selecting value and I'm going to say columns to include in the merge. Value. And then here are columns used to identify records be between them. It's the ID reference. So what it's going to do, it's going to take all of the values for each, for a particular gene for each value and put it in a column. And it's going to connect all that into one big file. Okay. Uh, mixing data, we don't care about that. Go next. Okay. This window is basically just asking you... Um, if you have an ID ref, more than one ID ref, it kind of freaks the computer out because it, it's got two of the same number for, for each gene. So what you can tell it is, is if you find that, and Affymetrix doesn't have that, so we don't have to worry about it. But if they did find a, say, a probe set or an ID with the same values, basically it would take the mean value for those two numbers. Okay, for now, show a list of values, that's okay. Go next. Rows per constant. So this is basically where you're going to put the, uh, let's see. We're going to put in our own values, so don't worry about this. Into categories manually, yes. Okay, go next. So we're going to put our variables in, and what you're going to see is, you'll see how that works. Okay, properties, we don't know what these samples are yet. I'm going to show you exactly where you get that information, so you can just hit next. Okay, now it's basically merging them. So this shouldn't take too long. But you can see, we found a study. Oh, this is what makes bioinformatics so powerful. We found a study, we, we decided, well, what, were we gonna, what are we interested in? Stem cells. Uh, not only stem cells, but embryonic versus pluripotent. We put the, those keywords in, search geo. We found a study we thought was interesting. You can read all about that study. We then basically found that accession number, went to Partech, told it, go get that information, and with a few clicks, I don't know, what's 30 times 33,000? You know, we almost got a million bits of information in just like that, right? Here is our file. 